Hello, happy Tuesday, and welcome to another live stream where I will hopefully be finishing up this Morticia sketch. So this sketch was for the winner of prize number three of my Christmas 2021 giveaway. So I'm aware that it is 2022 now, um, but I'm finishing up all the sketches. And I'm working on this Morticia one for um, prize number three winner. And so far I have been using um, Copic multi-liner pens, um, Schmincke watercolor in the back, and it's on Arches hot press watercolor paper. Um, I also have been using some Copic sketch markers for adding in some of the tones in her face and skin. Hal, Devin, Outsider, hello and welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining. Royal, Royal Applebutt, <laughs> I love your name. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. Heather, Justin, hello. I'm just gonna open up my pages, make sure I'm streaming in the right places and all is working. Second, loading everything up. Bobby, Rob, Terrence. Thank you so much for joining. Glenn, welcome. How dare I draw Morticia without Gomez? <laughs> I know. Trying to see. Hello in Texas, Heather. It's so nice to have you here. All right, so um, I'm just re-getting my bearings. I am currently working on penciling a cover for Mojo by Eric Basaldua. So that's what I'm working on on the off stream times. And I'm almost ready to start doing the final pencil. So by Thursday's live stream, I will be working on Morgana, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan, Philip, Bo, hello and welcome. Hello, Andre, welcome to the stream. Okay, so I'm just going to show really quickly. These are the markers that I've been using for Morticia's skin. It's a lot of very light purples, grayish blues. Oh, this T2 should not be in there. Um, so these are the colors that I'm using for Morticia. And I still need to uh, put in the tone for her hands. So right now her hands only have like a very light uh, skin tone with extra purple added into it than I usually do and um, very watered down. And so I did one pass with watercolor and that's kind of the, the base color. I'll kind of not use marker there and it's the highlight tone. Any shadows, I, I switch to Copic markers. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. Hello, Chris Beatrice. Welcome to the st stream. Dragomir, what the fan art? Justin, hello. Christy Misty, welcome. Allie, hello, hello. Jeff, welcome to the stream. Thank you all so much for joining in today. It's going to be a fun one. Hopefully, we'll see some progress and perhaps some completion. <laughs> Uncensored Morgana, no, there will definitely be censoring. I has, have to. Seven Licks, hello. Lorraine, welcome to the stream. Dr. Dark, hello. Keeman, how's it going? All right, so I'm starting with Cool Gray Double Zero, which is right here. And I'm using it as my base tone. So it's cool gray, it's C with two zeros. And that is the color that I'm using for this part. Now I did go over the lines a little bit with my red background color. So any spots where there's a little tiny bit of red peeking through, 
I don't know if you guys can see that, but right here, there's a little bit of red that shouldn't be there. Right along the edge right here, there's also some red. Um, and then over here on this hand, there's even a bit more. Like the line goes here, but the red comes in. And so um, what I'm doing with that is I'm going to use colored pencil to fix it. Wow, we have a raid, it seems. Hello, causing trouble. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid. Causing trouble. I want to make sure that I'm following you. So let me go see what you were working on and take a look at your channel. So awesome. Oh, wow. I love your art. I am going to give you a follow right now. Oh, whoops. No, cancel. I'm already following you. <laughs> that skull that you were working on today looks amazing. So cool. Thank you so much for the raid. I feel very stupid. I went to like follow and <laughs> I was already following. Okay. Please feel free to post your links causing trouble so that we can see um, any other places that you would like us to follow you or anything anything that you were working on, all of that stuff. Please feel free to post them here. And I'll take a minute and introduce myself. Uh, my name is Dawn McTagg. I work in comics. Right now I am doing my Christmas giveaway sketches where I take, uh, basically it's like a raffle over November. The winners get art. Um, the winner for prize number three, which is this size of paper, chose this one, so chose Morticia, so that's what I'm working on right now. In general, I work on a series called Divinica, which is about goddesses from all different pantheons of mythology. Um, it's written by J.P. Roth, and I draw the interior artwork. So I also drew the cover, <laughs> and um, this is what the interiors look like. It's all done by hand, and... Um, I will be starting back in on Divinica as soon as I'm done with my current cover deadlines for Ebas, who is the artist that drew this um, drawing of the goddess Isis. I am doing a cover for his series. All right. Um, building a cosplay of Hellchild, so creating her shirt designed to print. Brought my community to see your art, art like the Zenoscope comics. Oh, thank you, Causing Trouble. I can't wait to see your, your t-shirt design. What I saw just by going over on your page, it looks really awesome. I want one. James, hello. Welcome to the stream today. Good evening, Bali. All right. I'm going back to... Um, the Copic marker. So I showed you guys the little problem areas on her thumbs and finger. And those I will need to fix with some colored pencil. Thankfully, I believe I have a colored pencil that will do that. Um, it's just that watercolor and Copic marker are both translucent ink slash paint. And um, I'm going to need something opaque to cover up those little watercolor errors. So that's why I'll switch to either gouache if I need it or colored pencil. Robert, hello. All right, now I'm gonna do E40, which is an extremely light beige. And I'm not too worried about getting um, color into her fingernails. They're going to be dark red, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter what color they um, what color I make them right now. The red is going to be darker, and it will take over. It depends on the creator what compensation they want, what the fan art. Um, if it was trade every single time, I would literally get nothing done. 
<laughs> right, Zane, hello, by the way. Welcome to today's stream. All right, now I'm gonna start bringing in the blues and purples. And this is for the darker shadows. these four zeros now this has more purple in it it's a blue violet color but it's really 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 light witch hazel soul coffee thank you both for the follows I might even want to add a little bit more into her skin than I'm already quote unquote done with. Because I'm going to have to see, like, even though I'm, I'm doing the black of her hair and the black of her dress as kind of the final step, and that's out of necessity because the black will bleed with all these other colors that I'm working with because it'll reactivate it and it'll just pull it everywhere. So I'm going uh, light to dark on her skin and everything like that, but what can happen is once that black goes in, her skin is gonna look way too pale by comparison or you know, lacking in contrast and all of that stuff. So I will have to possibly go back into her skin to like darken it up in here and there um, once I see how it all looks as a whole. <laughs> yes, another Morticia. I had two Morticias requested this year and two um, Zatannas, neither of which are characters I draw very often. And it was just crazy to me that like two people requested them. Bite bitten, hello. Serapis, thank you so much and thank you for the follow. Kiss so go plays, thank you for the follow as well. See you later, Dave. All right. I'm going to use BV three zeros now. And it's um, because it's got some violet in it. It's uh, it's a little bit warmer in tone than like the the cool grays and um the bv the other blue color i was using yeah bv20 it's called dull lavender but it's a lot more blue in tone than the bvs that have more purple in them which you know is accomplished by adding more red um and the you know, your fingers usually are redder than like your face or something like that. There's just more blood flow or blood vessels or whatever. So um, giving the fingers a little bit more of a warmer tone, I think is appropriate. Aw, thank you, Serapis, and I'm sorry about that. 
Um, I struggle with backgrounds and animals, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> All right. Now there needs to be some darker tones. I'm going to, I might even do toner gray. I'm going to get toner gray. <laughs> People mostly struggle with you. <laughs> you know what? Let's see if this is a better idea, actually. I was going to do toner gray, but I think I'm going to do these E70 and E71. As you can see, their tones, they're, they're like a grayish um, skin tone. I use them for shadows for, you know, non-Morticia pale people and it works out well too so let's see how this goes i'm going to use e71 because e70 was too light no that is still too toned too skinnish all right let's see toner gray number three let's see how this goes That marker is completely dead. So that's what I must have had the toner gray number two out for. I had a toner gray number two and I was like, what is, what is this here for? It's the wrong color. And I moved it out from my skin tone palette for Morticia, but now I understand why it was there. Okay, and then I have this sort of light purpley kind of skin tone. I have a really light skin tone like that and then some whites. And I think I can mix these together and try to accomplish what I need to do as far as fixing up the little unfortunate bleed spots. Then here, it would be more of a light gray. Okay, so I colored with white first. Now I'm just going to blend in a little bit more skin tones to kind of soften up that white a little bit. Oh, thank you, Serapis. I appreciate that. Okay. I'm getting a little bit more of a darker gray. So just a few stronger shadows in here. And once I use this, these colored pencils, I can't use Copic or watercolor on top of them anymore. Or let's put it this way, they won't stick to where the colored pencil is. 
So I can use watercolor and Copic marker, but it won't affect where the pencil lines are, which is actually really handy so that I can like use this pencil, make a few little touch-ups that I want, and then I can go back in with colored pencil and just flip-flop back and forth. Um, the other ones that I have, these are the same brand, but they're the, um, they're their water color soluble, water soluble ones. So if I painted over these, they would turn into paint and smear all around, which is really good. It just depends on the time and place. Oh, they were awesome, Philip. Thank you. Okay, that's, I think I'm done. So I'm gonna do her nails now. So I'm gonna start with R24. And this is more orangey, but it's a good base tone. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the actual red I want to use, and this is R46, it's called Strong Red. Okay, so there needs to be a shadow right there under her thumb. And then I think at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, re-ink around the exterior so that she's, you know, she looks clear and the lines are clean because they're a little messy right now. And then just, we may not even see this, but I'm going to put some skin tone in here just in case while I'm painting, I decide I want some of this to start looking a little bit sheer. So I'm just filling in in a few places so that I have that flexibility. I may not even use it, but we'll see how it goes. All right, and then I'm gonna take BV three zeros. So I'm not being super careful with the skin tone. I'm just kind of mixing a little bit of the two main skin colors I used for Morticia so that if any little bit of skin tone is peeking through, it's, you know, somewhat similar to what her skin color is. There we go. All right, so I'll show you guys this again. These are the skin tones that I used for Morticia. The T2 is a really solid gray color. It's like the toner gray set. The Cs are the cool grays, so it's a gray with a little bit more of a blue tone to it blues and purple, lavendery colors here, and then a very light beige, which is kind of her base, gives her a little bit of a human skin look to it. And this is what I used. I'm gonna leave those to the side though. I'm not gonna pack them up in my little fancy Ziploc baggies yet, because I may use them still. Just in case in the end, like I told you guys, I might need to um, fix it up. Okay, there we 
your colored pencils. I'm just going to keep out this dark one for right here. I feel like her nail would be casting more of a shadow on her thumb there. All right, so I've been thinking about her hair and her dress and how I'm going to do it. Um, and I really liked the, I'm just getting it out here. I really liked the, the way that the blues worked on this Zatanna or the blacks. So I used a really light, um, well, super watered down navy blue tone and painted that over Zatanna um, to kind of mix in with the blacks. Now. For Morticia, none of this is shiny. With Zatanna, of course, I was going more for the shine and magic and all of that stuff. So I'm going to use the same thing, though. I'm going to paint everything with blue first, like her hair and her skin, and then I'll um, add the black afterwards. So it's kind of like a really deep navy tone um, on her dress and her hair. And it's also just how things are done a lot in comics that I think works out really well, is blue is black, you know? Mayor Peachy and Fennec17, thank you so much for the follows. Yes, Zane. Well, uh, I do have an update for all of you guys. The uh, printers at um, our fulfillment, printing and fulfillment place, they're called Artist Express. They are amazing, we love them. And they are currently printing everything that was ordered on the DivinicaShop.com sale. That is so cool. You guys are gonna get your stuff very quickly. And as soon as they're done being printed, they'll be packaged really carefully and shipped out to you. So I'm really excited about that. And you should start getting shipping notifications probably by the end of this week. Never understood why blue was black instead of dark gray blink being black. You know, that's a, that's a good thought. And Justin, I've always used dark gray for black and it just doesn't have that it's just not colorful enough. I think that's really what it is. It, it works with the human psyche to see a bit more color to it. That's my, my theory though. And I've spent all of half a second thinking about it, but that would be my theory. I am trying to find my, hmm, I guess I don't have it anymore. Which blue is it? It's this blue right here, which is number 485. And I, when I buy my schminky, Schminky, I said it again, my Schminke uh, colors, I will write the number on the inside right there of the little, um, of the little pans so that I can match it to my, um, my swatch pad. So it's number 485, it's this one right here. Okay, so just getting that going. Really? Sharpie marker is not black, it's dark purple? What? I didn't know this. Oh my goodness, it is shout out time. Jen and the Dawn ship team turned another order into tracking in under 24 hours. <laughs> Yay! Rob, actually, I felt so bad. I didn't see your order until just when I just closed the, the live stream. So a belated shout out to Rob. Thank you for ordering that print. That was so cool of you. <laughs> Glenn Blackwood, thank you so much for your order. You got two art books, yay. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, which is more happy news, many of you did already get the Art of Divinica Kickstarter item. So 
you already have them. But for anybody who missed the Art of Divinica Kickstarter, our uh, remaining items are currently in transit from Chicago to the Divinica warehouse. And um, they should be arriving sometime this week. And then JP Roth and I will start getting the items available for everyone on our website. So that's good news too. <sighs> Divinica leftovers on sale soon. Yay! You ordered your print and then two days later got the email for the sale. Ah, sorry, Dr. Dark. Okay, let's see if this is light enough. It is. I'm happy with this color. So yeah, keep an eye out for any emails from DivinicaShop.com regarding the art books for Divinica the um, Genesis books, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna of course hang 10 and wait for this sale to be um, fulfilled. <laughs> There's no way we'd get it up, uh, get the items up that quickly. Okay, so I think I'm going to actually make it a little bit more saturated than that because I don't want to fill the paper too much. So instead of doing pass after pass of color, I'm just going to make it a little bit more saturated in tone. So, you know, it looks really dark here, but this should be um, light enough once I put just a light wash over the whole thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Matias, hello, thank you. I know, I caught, I caught myself, I caught myself. Ooh, I need to take that the sale coupon down. I'm sure there will be more sale coupons happening soon, but I'm sorry everybody for my false advertising with that coupon. I, it is not live anymore. No, not yet, Philip. Oh, looks like we've got ourselves a little bit of the masking fluid right there still. I'm gonna need to let that dry maybe. Shit. Okay, that's a problem. I have a little bit of masking film still right there so the paint is not sticking. But last time I caught myself having some masking film in a spot and I tried to remove it when the paper was still wet and I kind of got the paper a little bit funky in that spot. So I'm gonna be careful this time and wait until maybe the next pass of color before I try to remove that. It is gonna be a blow stream, absolutely. Okay, I need a bit more paint. River Dragon, hello, welcome to the stream today. So this is gonna be really blotchy looking and not very nice, um, but I'm kind of okay with that right now because I don't need this part to be smooth. 
and she has more velvety dresses as opposed to you know slick shiny ones like say Catwoman or you'd imagine Black Cat would wear um, her dresses are a lot more velour velvet not shiny so um, I'm not too worried about smooth here so I'm kind of doing a messy job this is just an undertone dragon that is so awesome All right, I have to be careful here now. Um, I do not want this to get into her face. And I'm gonna be painting over her body too. So now's where I'm gonna be a little bit quieter and focus on not screwing it up. So me and Vienna started a new anime show. Uh, new for us, not new for anywhere. But we're watching through um, Yona of the Dawn. And we just started watching some of it yesterday. It's really fun. There's another spot right there. Thank goodness, I thought I got it all. <clears throat> no, I have not seen gargoyles.
to ask, but how far out are in commissions are you? Three years. Okay, first pass of watercolor is done. I'm gonna blow dry the paper so that I can remove the few little spots of the, um, what's it called? The masking film that still happened to be there. So cover your ears if you are not a fan of the blow dryer. Okay, yes, that's what I was about to do. All right, so I need to remove the last little bits of masking film. So there's a little spot right there. Did I miss it anywhere else? I got that one off. All right, so now I'm just gonna fill in those two little spots. A little bit of paint for right there. And a little bit of paint for right here. All right, now it's black paint time. So I think I'm gonna start with her hair. Uh, the way that I have uh, colored this is that the light source is coming from above her head, kind of this direction. So um, I need to just keep that in mind. Oh, Dragomir, thank you. So again, I'm gonna do a light wash with black. It's gonna dry and it's probably gonna look pretty gray once it's finished, but that's, that's okay. That's kind of the plan right now because then I'm gonna come in with Copic marker and give it the shading. Yeah, I've seen uh, Rob, the, where the paint is really thick right here and right here, the watercolor isn't really sticking to it anymore. Uh, maybe there's just a lot of pigment or something. So I think I'm gonna have to accomplish those strands with just plain um, Copic marker.
Uh, you know, I had one, one today, Jeff. Weird. So did Renee. Aw, oh, poor thing. Oh, yeah. I feel like I remember someone telling me to watch Full Metal Alchemist. Was that you? <laughs> If so, I'm sorry that I haven't yet. 781. 781. Dawn does what most people do with me. She acknowledges that I said words, then moves on with her life. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. I'm a little stubborn, I suppose. But yes, I, I feel like I remember you telling me to do that. I also did just carry on living my life. This is the thing. I will watch a show that my daughter wants to watch with me because we'll watch it together over lunch or something like that. However, um, any of these shows that you guys are recommending are probably things I'm going to want to actually visit, visibly see. And I don't really have time to do that on my own. I will re-watch shows that I have already seen and listen to them. And it's glorious. But I am like the queen of re-watching re and not really starting to watch, if that makes sense. <laughs> Steve, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, I told, um, I told JP Roth what you guys, what you said, Steve, about how Dawn is bringing the no ass to go ass. She thought that was very funny. Joe said you did a funny, Steve. Yes, pretty much you have to brainwash my daughter. 
If you want me to watch something, Vienna has to concur. <laughs> What time is it for you right now, Allie? Yeah, I need to switch to a thinner brush to finish out her hair strands. This one is too dark. I mean, too thick. Whoa. a.m. Your laser's still working. Want to finish that piece? Ah, okay. No appointment tomorrow. Nice! So at least you can sleep in if you need to. Okay, I've got to be really careful along here. Jeff Martin, hello. How's it going?
I'm pushing some of the paint down into her under boob area so that she has more of a shadow. I don't want the paint pooling up there. I want it pooling down here. Like that. Are you blaming your spelling on me, Philip? Mean! Freckled Pony, Don't Leave Me Mom, AAA25, and Nasun13. Thank you all so much for the follows. I'm going to leave a little gap in between the two of these, probably just for now, so that I can um, keep the, the watercolor areas separate from one another. <laughs> You've had better days? Oh no, Jeff, I'm sorry. Jay Allen, hello, how's it going? My New Year's was great. Thank you so much. How about yours? Oni, hello. Just another week in the life. Sorry, Jeff. Okay. So I'm liking the color that I got here in her hair. And you know, I'm, it's interesting, I'm seeing that anywhere where I went over the line with Copic marker, it the watercolor sticks to it more or something. This feels like a slightly new occurrence. I've noticed it before um, on my stuff, but not this intensely, maybe because I'm using black now. Um, but I feel like this is not as common as it's starting to become like maybe my new pad of paper that I got is just slightly different than the last time or something. Um, so that's an interesting turn of events for me. And I'm going to need to keep that in mind, especially when I'm working on Divinica pages. I think if I just be careful as far as um, maybe wherever possible I do the the watercolor first and then the Copic marker after, which is usually how I do it. Um, I shouldn't have any issues working on the Divinica pages, but you know, I'm gonna keep that in mind because I can't say I love the watercolor doing that. That's darker.
I'm kind of trying to haul ass and finish this spot here. I will look up and catch up on any comments in just a second. Not trying to be rude or ignore anyone. Just trying to get this part done. See you later, Kara. All right, it's good enough for now. And soon I will be switching to Copic marker. Pony, hello. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling inclined to add more blue. Anybody else feeling that urge? Oh my God, you only got one for percent, Philip. Yikes. Philip, are you coming to um, Swornfest? It's like 2 a.m. Aw. <laughs> well, I don't want you to regret that tomorrow, Freckled Pony, if you're like so exhausted. <laughs> like, damn it. Should not have stayed up so late. <laughs> you're not feeling the urge. <laughs> 
Yeah, I really gotta watch it with that shit, I'm telling you, or I'll just, like, make everything too colorful. Which is so weird, because, like, I'm telling you, years ago, I really lobbied hard with J.P. Roth for Southern Nightgown to be all sepia-toned, because I didn't want anything super colorful, you know? And then... Oh, and Southern Nightgown is a comic book series that's written by J.P. Roth, published by J.P. Roth, and I did the interiors. And I was hard lobbying for sepia tones only. <laughs> and now I'm like, I want everything to have more color. You're using a lot of blue, Outsider? Nice. Agreed, Rob. Agreed. I'm mostly talking about, like, I don't know, the undercolors. But no, I need to not give in to my color urges and keep her monochrome. I'm going to try. I'm even going to try to not bedazzle the shit out of this piece. <sighs> Oh, thank you, Rob. She sure does. You're so right, Steve. Gray Overcast Art, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for saying hi. Kyoya Max and War Warhawk, thank you so much for the follows. <laughs> okay, I'm going to work on her hair on this side, and as such, I'm going to do this upside down. Too dark. Boyo, hello. I agree with you, Jeff Martin. You're right. Oh, you're so sweet, Rocky Road. All right, we 
need to remind Allie to get her pizza out of the oven in nine minutes. Anybody feel like setting up an alarm? They were great, Husky Boyo. I don't think we made the best choice on cheesecake brand or something. It wasn't the best cheesecake, I have to admit. We'll do better next time. <laughs> But the hamburgers were delicious. Dinner was very yummy. I'm cooking dinner tonight and it is spaghetti. Awesome. Justin, no, nine minutes. <laughs> Justin and Rocky Road are going to set alarms for you, Allie. We're all going to help you cook dinner and not have burnt pizza. Nobody wants burnt pizza. Ooh, we have... Some new visitors on Divinica Shop. Thank you guys. All right. Blow dry time. Cover your ears. Sub Park Cheesecake is like a successful raid. Yeah, it's still good, but the memories are less than they could be. <laughs> oh, but I feel so happy and relieved when I don't botch the, the raid. You had spaghetti last night? Ooh, nice. <laughs> Baron, hello! Hold. I realized I should do one thing. True story, Hal, I did choose the, um... I did choose the, the dessert. I didn't buy it though. <laughs> and I need to learn which to be a bit more specific if I even had known that it was not exactly the, the best brand, which none of us knew. So we got it, tried it, didn't like. Kevin, hello! I am drawing Morticia right now, so I'm doing a few first passes of her, uh, the little strips and strands that she has coming off her dress, which I love! And I want them to look sort of see-through, so I am hoping that they will lighten up, you know? They'll lighten from here, and then I can do a couple more passes, and hopefully it'll look like multi-layered strips. So these ones are here now, but then I'll probably put a few on top, a few below, and let some, um, let there hopefully be a bit of depth going on between all of them. Yes, Rob, pretty much, especially when it comes to Morticia's dress, that's for sure. Just want a little short one there. All right, so I'm gonna let these dry and then I want to have layers, layers of the bits because that'll make it hopefully look like lace-ish stuff. All right, now it is for real blow time. <laughs> yes, 
it's lightening up just how I wanted it to be. See? And so it's gone kind of see-through and that is perfect because hopefully now I'll go in and do it again and possibly a third time and that should make it look like many different layers of strips and wherever they overlap it'll be darker and that gives the impression of sheer overlap. So <clears throat> I think I'm gonna keep working on that for a minute right now because it's very exciting. And then I'll start working with Cop Copic marker. True, she is not a vampire. And I want some of these to kind of smoosh, smoosh. And I'm going to put uh, one back there. Thicken that out a little bit. <laughs> you couldn't see the V cut. You need another extreme zoom. <laughs> Soon there will be many extreme zooms to the deep V cut. Okay, I want a kind of shorter one right there. This one to go a little bit longer. Do some overlappage. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Mo dry time. your names Rob. Hello, Christian. Okay, Copic marker time. Tone of grace is what I'm gonna use. Oh, for real, Christian? <laughs> awesome. Allie, Justin says it's been nine minutes. Justin, you're a winner. I might have to knuckle under you guys at some point and refill my T3 marker. So that's an unfortunate turn of events because I'm lazy and I hate refilling my markers, as you all know. Oh, and Rocky Road too. I think we're a bunch that really care about food. So we're not trying to have someone's dinner burn. <laughs> How lazy have I been? Any ramen this weekend? <laughs> Rob, I missed a day. I did no ramen on Saturday. 
because I missed my Saturday workout. Really sucks, man. So yes, I have not deserved any ramen. Which menial task, Hal? Working out? I know. Dan would love nothing more than to be able to work out for me and I reap the benefits, but sadly it doesn't work that way. Damn it. He could dedicate his workout time to himself and then another workout just for me. <laughs> Do you get a lot of use? Yes, I do, Husky Boy, for sure. And I don't go through the refills all that fast. Even considering how much I use Copic markers, the refills last me quite a long time. You need an assistant, yes. Okay, I read that. Refilling, but working out works too. <laughs> so I think I think I have decided a decision. And that is, I am no longer going to be buying cold press watercolor paper, even for my quote unquote quick sketches, because I don't care for, boy, there's a lot of glare on this. I don't care for the, the texture. It's driving me nuts. There we go. I know, I am a decider of decisions. Look at me and my decisive self. It happens every so often. I am with that line and my hot press line because I do so love my hot press watercolor paper. That makes me happy. See, I thought that cold press would kind of be a really good exercise in forcing me to not put so much detail in stuff. But what happens is I put all the detail in it anyway and I'm just frustrated. <laughs> so I need to cut that shit out and just realize that, you know, I, uh, I do put some detail and I like everything to look smooth and, you know, it is what it is. And me trying to force myself to not draw the way that I draw by buying paper that won't allow me to do it just makes my life harder. Why would I do that? Oh, thank you, Christian. You're right, Steve. But you see, what that means is I'm going to be buying less cold press paper, but then I'll just need more hot press. So it kind of all evens out in the end, and I do continue to purchase art supplies. Win! <laughs> Right, Justin? I'm not wrong. It's all the paper's fault. I don't know what that 
mean, Steve? I can't remember. Oh, okay, I don't want to know. Right now, I'm actually using toner gray number four, which is technically a really light marker, but it seems to be picking up on this paper pretty well. And then I'll just go over it with something darker in a second. But I'm actually surprised at how well this marker is holding up at, you know, doing a lot of the black. Crazy. Okay, now I'm going to use six. And I am taking it slow and easy as far as how dark I'm going to go, at least initially with Morticia, because it's so much easier to go add in more dark than to lighten something up, as I learned with Punchline. So I'm trying to be really careful with that. Oh, interesting, Hal. So you were concerned about that. Yeah, okay. It's weird how that happens, isn't it? Where it can throw you off completely uh, just because it's lacking the rest of the colors. Now, we'll have to see. Her skin, honestly, when all is said and done, might still be too light and lacking in contrast. But we'll see. Thanks, Robert. <clears throat> Canadian tan, yes. Yes, yes. your drawings. I have the worst time with figuring out shading and lighting. Yeah, that is 
that is a tricky part. Um, for me, honestly, Robert, I don't really even try to worry about whether I'm right or not in a lot of cases. It's mostly just about what looks good. You know, have a general idea of light source and then carry on living your life. <laughs> He's doing much better with the, the teeth cleaning, Philip. Thank you. Yes, I clean my cat Sherlock's teeth every morning, and he was actually such a good boy today for his teeth cleaning. He's been a bit of a asshole the rest of the day, but he was a very good boy for his teeth cleaning. I'm very proud. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Mark, hello! I loved the the reclaimed wood wall that you made. Oh my god, that was so amazing. Majorly impressed. Okay, I need to refill my toner gray number three marker. I may even have to replace the nib. Yes, very much typical cat behavior. <laughs> Oh, did Philip actually answer if he's going to be at Swornfest? Okay, I need toner gray number three refill. T3. And it's like looking for a needle in the haystack because I have all of my toner markers together. Jesus, this is going to take forever. Okay. Here is my toner or my gray markers and I need to find T3. Ah, here we go. Okay. He's already camping out? Philip is? Set the hay on fire. <laughs> Yes, it sure is, Husky Boyo. Okay, refill time. Again, I am aware that I may be facing the possibility that I need to actually replace the nib too, because it's just being weird. You haven't decided on Sworn Fest. Fair enough, Philip. Yeah, this nib is still feeling kind of crunchy. I don't like it. It's getting better. Okay, now I'm going to get four.
Mr. E, hello. Lennar, thank you. Welcome to the stream today. I don't know if I've thanked Manama and Nightmare J18. Thank you both for the follows. Funny Juan. <laughs> mm, I'm going to blend out that T6 a little bit more with T4. And let's do some T8. And I'm blending it out with T6. some T8 up here. Good. All right. That's pretty good for now. And I'm going to maybe work on this side of her top and then work on this portion of her dress, like her body and all that. Oh good, Mr. E. <laughs> Sorry about the panic though, that's rough. Did you share some with Katie, Juan? In the end, were you sweet?
Juan had to give all the extra cookies to the ass he attacked. <laughs> Noggins Draws, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream today. When it comes to Brandy's cookies, I ask myself, Katie who? <laughs> and Brandy was here to see that. Hello, Brandy. Welcome to the stream. We were talking about your cookies. I asked Juan if he shared with Katie. And you caught him in that answer. I know. Brandy heard that we were talking about her, maybe. Do I ever use the other end of the Copics? Truthfully, how I hardly ever do. Basically, never. Um, and it's if I need to fill in a spot or maybe I want a particular like chisel style look to my line. But I mean, it's so freaking rare. I basically never use it. So I'm trying to get a little indentation area here where it's kind of uh, armpit, top of chest muscles, and then it goes into her boobs. So that's why I'm trying to get this, this area to look more like a dip. And then as it goes up into her shoulder, it's gonna of course look it's going to be catching more light because, of course, her shoulder is closer to the light, up higher, and rounded. Oh, thank you, Ben Teague Arts. Welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for joining in. So I'm going to keep this part pretty dark. Mostly it's just going to get highlighted by her shoulder. I'll darken that up a little bit more. And of course I realize that this is looking a little bit messy, but right now I'm going to start blending it with the T4. <laughs> nice, Justin. I approve. Powers, hello, welcome to the stream. Vampira, thank you.
Now I've switched to the darkest marker I'm using so far. I may go darker still, um, but this one is Toner Gray number eight. And it's for the darker shadows. Now I'm going to blend it out with toner gray number six. Morticia's life goals, right? She's so awesome. Okay, I'm going to work on her boobies now. You have to be her at least once every year in October. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, I need to find a new uh, nib for my marker. So I have replacement nibs. And I'm just gonna get them out. Where's my wipe? Actual nib. Super brush, I'm assuming this is what I need. Yeah, okay. So I need to replace my nib. I work on paper most Z Vampira, but um, you know, I will I will switch to digital for, you know, depending on uh what character I'm working on if it needs to be digitally colored. But I draw on paper and um color on paper too sometimes. Okay, so there's the nib. I just need to get a little bit of ink on this just to get it started. Make sure that's turn over number three. All right, so the nib was just too old. I mean, I've had this set of markers for probably 11 years and have never changed that nib. So, or 10 years, who knows, something like that. <laughs> that too. Prepare yourself for intense torture, Justin. It's coming for you. Well, I was uh re I was getting a new nib, so I had to fill it up. Oh, you never see anyone refilling them. Ah. Yeah, because it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I do not like having to refill my marker. And it's usually like right when I'm in the middle of something. Yes, right now I'm working with Copic markers. Ah, my foot's stuck. Ooh. Uh, Z Vampira and Bantig Arts. Thank you both for the follows too. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. Enjoy. Have a good time. Okay. Base color is down for Morticia's. That's her right boob. <laughs> I know they can cost a lot. I didn't know you refilled them. Yes. 
that is what makes Copic markers worth it, in my opinion, because yes, the marker is incredibly expensive, but you can replace the nibs like I just did, and the refill costs less, at least current, last time I bought them, the refill costs less than the marker itself, or about the same, but the refill will last you years. Um, I use Copic markers all the time, and I don't finish a refill very often. Yeah, now the prices make more sense. That's awesome. If you look at, like, at least here where I live, um, Michael's that sells Copic markers has no refills there, you know? So it's kind of one of those things you have to figure out for yourself or something. They kind of let you figure that out as to why the price is so high. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can usually find them online or at an art store. True. I wouldn't chew on the nibs. That would probably taste really gross. Okay. Um, toner gray number six is the next color I'm putting down right now. We're going to go back this way. And I'm going to blend that out with toner green number four. That's crazy that uh, that uh, Schmincke is cheaper. I mean, that's that's just awesome. <laughs> Schmincke is like the most expensive here, Allie. Just gonna try to fix this blend. I want it to look soft. Soft booby blends are important. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow uh, from her hair. So it would be casting a shadow onto her top. It's a pretty dark top, so it's a little bit hard to see that shadow, but still, I think it's worth it. Andy! SLVS, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Fabulous Fox, happy Tuesday afternoon. Welcome. So her hair, little strands right here are going to need um, highlights to help them stand out again. Right, Rob, it's very important. <gasps> Do I still have tea? I do. Tea break. Oh, and guess what? You guys, this is a first in my life. I, um, I'm going to make the Morgana piece a little bit more of a pencil uh, and pencil shaded cover. Um, and I've, I'm drawing the, the main version is going to be the risque version. It just so happened like this. This was supposed to be my sketch piece of paper, but I don't want to try to recreate this face. I know I'm going to screw it up. So I am, I, I've drawn out and shaded her boobs and her nips. And you guys know, for me, drawing nipples is like pin the tail on the donkey. I... I got nothing as far as like placement. <laughs> I did it right this time. I was uh, on Skype and I showed it on video to Joe and Eric and I got approval. There were no nip changes. First time in my career. <laughs> so happy. Oh, 
Oh, you thought Schmincke was a technique at first. Ah, I know. I usually have nipples that are kind of doing this. <laughs> now they're in the right place. Oh my God. And you guys won't be able to see that until like I send it around in my email, my weekly email, because I can't post that on the internet. No, I will be coloring when I color it on, uh, when I color it digitally, we'll go back to the e-nips. I honestly can't remember what I paid for it either, Allie. I kind of stay blissfully unaware of the cost of most of my art supplies. It helps me function. <laughs> Ooh, nice Rocky Road. I have never done that before. You saying, you know that feel. It's also best for my husband's mental well-being that he does not join me for my art supply shopping because I think it's a little bit traumatizing for him. <laughs> I would be so nervous to Rocky Road. I think I'm a little bit, well, I suppose this is stating the obvious, but I think I'm really immature <laughs> and I don't think I would do well with like a naked person standing right in front of me. And it would be because I'm so embarrassed that I'd start laughing and I really wouldn't be able to look. I just, I can't, <laughs> I'm too immature. <laughs> You don't count how much money you spent, right? It's just better that way. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I do have all of my receipts, Hal, but I don't really remember them. You know, I don't take note. I try not to look. Somehow I need to, <laughs> that's awesome, Jay Allen. It's just, I, I just, you know, I'm not a very mature individual. <laughs> That's going to be so hard, Rocky Road. Keep us posted. Because, <laughs> I mean, the last thing you want to do is be rude, but, like, it, it's, it's just the personal embarrassment of feeling uncomfortable. Oh my God, I couldn't do it. I never have. <laughs> Draw a black bar. I know, I wish. The only person who's staring at my chest is a 55, 20 year old trying to get the shading right. <laughs> oh my god, no way, Husky Boyo. <laughs> Who here expected her to be mature? Hey, Baron, I'm mature. <laughs> All right, toner gray number six, here we go. Right, Allie? <laughs> the mental pictures right now are rough. <laughs> oh, Steve, that's so great. I actually... 
actually have no idea, Fabulous Fox. Um, I probably wouldn't do that, but it's entirely up to you. I think that it's not just straight up alcohol. Um, but, you know, there's one way to find out. Joker Nato, hello, welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday. Oh, and Mr. Frightful, welcome to the stream. The one time I posed nude, they were making teapots. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Oh, did I say happy Thursday? It's Tuesday. I failed. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Apologies. <laughs> Heather Gibson, hello, happy Tuesday. <laughs> Forty-five minutes to food. Yay. In Donglish, Thursday can mean any day of the week. Right? Maybe I need to just start saying happy day <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> D-Dog, hello. Oh, I'm gearing up for this right here. <gasps> Scary. Okay, so here she is with a little less glare on her because the glare is really aggressive from my lights. But we shall deal. I'm uh, starting to get worried that I'm going to need to add more to her face. More color. I mean, more contrast. We'll see. You're geared up for it as well, Rob. <laughs> nice. off cam. See you later, Stanley. Never worry about the questions, Fabulous Fox. That's literally why I'm here. Um, yes, this is the hot press paper I was talking about on the last stream. This is Arches Hot Press watercolor paper. I personally think it's the best paper I have tried. Um, I'm sure that there are other brands of paper that other artists will swear by. That's sort of how things go in the art world, but I freaking love this stuff. Uh, it might need to be Copic refill time, unfortunately. Um, because I've been using up my T3 a lot. I have cold press, but I've never tried the hot. Okay, well, the hot is going to be a lot smoother and easier to ink on, but it really depends on what kind of, st what style your art is. Um, I'm a little bit of the detail person, and I like smooth skin, and the texture of the paper makes it a little bit harder for me to accomplish those things. 
Um, so yeah, I prefer hot press. All right, we are going to actually refill the marker here where you guys can see it. Oh, is Rocky heading out? See you later, Rocky. Have a good one. So um, I had just kind of added an extra bit of ink to the nib that time, but now I'm going to actually refill. So click it in and squeeze. Just give it a few little pumps. I am a aggressive overfill artist. I overfill these markers all the time, and then I have these splooges all over my page that ruin my life, and I need to stop doing that. But we're going to be careful. Dark Sunset, Ponto Blade, thank you both for the follows. Welcome to the stream. Do I have ink all over me? No. Here we go. Oh, this is scary. So, I feel that this side of her body would be more in shadow. So right now, I kind of used my light marker, since there's really no turning back. Once you, once you start coloring, there's just nothing you can do. You have to just carry on, mistakes and all. Um, so my plan is, well, I usually use a really light marker, which is here. I'm using tone of gray number three. And for starters, I'm kind of smoothing out all the gray, but it's also serving as the light highlight color, basically. And since it's light enough, I'm using it to plan out my shadows. So worst case scenario, if I don't like what I did, I can easily cover over it. So right now I'm kind of planning out where her, you know, hip bones are, where I want things to be in darker shadow and folds in her clothes that would turn into a highlight, stuff like that. So like right here would be sort of the midline hip bone here. This is kind of her stomach, center line of her stomach. Her stomach and then the same thing here this would be where one of her muscles is rib cage center line hip bone here you know so I'm kind of just planning out where her body will be and then where all the contouring and curving would be in her dress so like here this is where her hip is hence hip bone leg starts here right so this is where the leg would be and so this is where it would go into shadow, but we'd probably have a highlight right here from her, from her thigh. And then it would drop off because it's not like her dress is completely contoured to her body down here or it would have a much harsher turn. Am I going raiding tonight? That is a good question, Philip. I feel like I've just been failing on the raids lately, which is a little bit of a bummer. You pulled up an image of slim good body to keep you honest. What's that?
interesting. Jelly draws. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I want to finish this one on this live stream. Peter, hello, happy Tuesday. I keep saying Thursday. Welcome. <laughs> Yay. How are you doing? Alexander, hello. You're at work? Oh, I'm glad you're, you're doing good. Oh, thank you for the reminder, Rob. All right, I think I'm gonna start going into some darker tones on her dress. I'm gonna go into the four and six and start laying in a lot more of the shadows. You know what, I might just go straight to six. Okay, so I'm gonna do six in a lot of these shadows, which I kind of, yeah, I've given the, this shadow configuration a look and I like it. So I know that I'm gonna keep these darker areas.
is back. Hello, hello. Under boob shadow is important. But I'm leaving a halo line around her boobs just so we keep, keep that division in place, at least for now. Environment Life, hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you so very much for the raid. How are you doing? Sean, Happy New Year! Here's to all the great art in 2022. See you at the Calgary Expo in April. Oh yes, I hope so. I am all signed up and ready to go. Happy New Year to you too. You had a great stream. Oh awesome, what were you working on? Please feel free to post your links and all of that. You could make fun of me, Rob. You could even make fun of Katie. But when it comes to the Raiders, I'm going to take it personal. <laughs> Okay, I'm switching to T3 again. Thankfully, because I'm using lighter markers, I'm able to sort of chisel her body uh, into the, the look that I'm going for by just adding the marker here and there, like because I really didn't have um, the lighting and everything planned out for her dress from the start of coloring this part. And um, sometimes even if I do have a complete plan, it doesn't always work out the way 
like once I start putting the shadow in, I realize I, I don't like that shadow there. I don't like that line over here and I have to keep reworking it. So at least because I'm using lighter markers, I have that flexibility that I wouldn't have had if I had gone straight to black, if that makes sense. No way, you've been sketching every day a normal 15 minute sketch a day. Nice! That is so awesome! What have you been drawing, Juan? He's been drawing cookies. <laughs> Fire hydrants, how long do your 15 minute sketches take? <laughs> I think I want all of this to just be way darker. I'm going to do even less highlights than I have currently. <laughs> Excuse you. We're going darker. I feel like it's detracting from her face. I need to make this just way darker. Aw, 2TH, thank you just like my mentor. Ooh, so bad. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more shadow under her boobs. And a little bit under her rib cage. This is kind of where there's always a little bit more shadow there. Rib cage curves around like so. Oh, he sure is milking the pass. My goodness. <laughs> He's going to find himself in some decent trouble pretty soon. I'm going to have a great talk with Katie at Swornfest. I can assure you of that. God, you guys. I have no idea, Jay Allen. Um, 
if this is the se yeah this is the second uh, morticia i i have no idea why i ended up with with both and it was not a um combined effort by the two people that won i don't think they even know each other it just happened i don't know you should be proud if i'm drawing i am proud however don't blame me if you're doing self-portraits, damn it. <laughs> okay, so the lighter tones are in. Now I'm going to go in and darken up the shadows even more. I'm going to try tone of gray number three. I just want to darken that up a little bit, but not too dark. And because she's leaning back, I'm kind of changing the, the, the positioning and direction of some of the folds that I had placed in her waist. They would actually be up a little bit higher, so I'm fixing that. This one is actually for a woman. <laughs> Because the two of you have great taste. What made you think of it though, Jeff? I'm your inspiration for doing self-portraits. Well, you're using all the, all the right art words, Juan. So I will let it pass. <laughs> Sugar, Berry, Baby, and Rodrigo Mayer. Thank you both so much for the follows. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's like I know right he's gonna get his ass stuck in the corner pretty soon I sort of feel a little bit like her skin and eyes need more kapow. What made you think of doing Morticia or requesting Morticia is like, because we have two people that requested Morticia this year, I'm just curious if like there's been a like re-release of a movie with her or something has happened to like bring Morticia to mind for people. And like Zatanna too, even though I know that's not your commission, like is Zatanna kind of hot right now or something? Because I haven't drawn Zatanna for like 10 years, never been requested her as a commission, and then this year too in the same round. So I'm just curious. You'd kapow on her skin and eyes. I'm just wondering, Justin, if you're being, um, <laughs> if you're being, you're talking about the art here or if you're, you know, you need to be sent to the corner. <laughs> oh, thank you, Husky Boyo. He's being Justin. Yes, figured as much. Zatanna is always hot. Ah, okay. Well, I wonder why I have literally never been asked to draw her except for the once. Robin, Mr. E, look. I did not forget the hair strands. I think I'm going to go a little bit lighter. That's toner gray number eight, but I want it to sort of recede into the background. Sia Mox says boat. Both. Morticia is always hot. Halloween is taking over. Yes, Kara should be pleased. Well, I was just curious. Maybe it's just nobody thought I could draw these characters. Gasp. I'm so offended. That's true. 
that's true, Justin. Because I know you've never done her before and I had the idea since last summer as a what if scenario. Ah, nicely done, Jeff. I respect the planning ahead. <laughs> ben Helsing, hello. Welcome to the stream. So once I'm done with this part, I am going to probably add more depth into her dress. But since I am running close to the end of the live stream, I will, um, anything else that I do is going to be noodling, I can assure you. Um, I might add a little bit more depth in her shadowing just so that, you know, it, she kind of doesn't get washed out and taken over by the rest of the piece, if that makes sense. Oh, that's awesome, Robert. <laughs> Where's my pencil case? It's over there, damn it. I should have something here. Extra small. All right. What usually helps a ton on a on a character when I'm feeling like they're just looking a little bit odd and washed out is it just reapplying the black lines. So let's start out with reapplying the black. Definitely helps give additional kapow to the eyes. And then if it's still not, not kapowing enough for me, I might darken out her eyeshadow. Do some, co uh, some colored pencil maybe. Give her a little bit more intense shadows. And she has pretty spidery looking uh, mascara. I mean, not mascara, false lashes basically, but lashes. So I'm gonna get that in. Ryan, thank you. Oh yes, most likely, it really depends on the scan. My punchline is scanned really bad and I'm super sad about it. She's still kapow. For future reference, if you um, don't have a blank. Okay, so if you're seeing me at a convention, you were, you're on the list for a sketch and you don't have a blank, just communicate with me. I can bring some of my cougar paper. Thank you, Mr. E. It was fun. And, you know, I've got to give massive props to Mr. E and Rob for their suggestions on how to, uh, about adding some purple into the background, mixing purple in with the red. That was really, it was very clever, you guys. Mad props to both of you.
maybe you guys can't tell any difference, but um, to me that, that helped a lot. Highlight in the eyes. Maybe you messed, I think you should, you, oh, I think you messed up this drawing. You should totally give it away to one of us and start a new one over for the original commissioner. <laughs> Now one for 156 on good ideas. <laughs> good night with the fan art. Have a good one. Take care. Oh, come on. A little glow in the eye and suddenly the character is alive I think apex trippin thank you so much for the follow you agree with Jay Allen <laughs> I've screwed this one up and need to start again Weep. <laughs> See, Amok agrees. <laughs> okay. Outline time makes a difference, especially with a piece like this where it's quite dark. Mostly, I'm just trying to clean up the exterior lines. You know, I have a couple little tiny white dots, some places where the watercolor pooled, and I can't say I love it. I'm just using the black marker to kind of fixy fix. Fixy fix. Oops. And I was off camp. Classic. Ten minutes till spaghetti. Oh, yay. Thank you, Rob. All right. Let's go see who we can raid. It's ten minutes till I need to actually go cook dinner. Because, yeah, you know what, guys? I don't think I'm going to raid today because I need to go get dinner started. It's not like, um, um, it's not like I'm just going down to help or going down to just straight up eat dinner. I need to go cook it. So I don't want to be rude and dash on whoever we raid. So I'll try to be ready to raid on Thursday. But we have a couple more minutes for me to finish up some of these little lines. And I may do another pass on her sleeves or I may not like that's that's why I haven't done it yet because um, I'm trying to think and know if it's right to add more or if I like it like that so I am thinking some thoughts so I'm just doing for now I'm just doing an, an exterior line May have gone a little bit too thin on some of my ink lines. <laughs> Trying to think, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, duck for cover, Justin. <laughs> Good night, gray overcast art.
Travis. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Oh, Van Helsing, I can't tell you enough how much that means. Thank you very, very much. I um, truly, that like made my day. Thank you. Okay, doing a stronger ink line here. Right. Good, good. I have just enough time to go around this hand right here. Good night, Hal. Take care. Have a great evening. And I'll see you on Thursday if you can make it. Thank you, Siamok. Much appreciated. All right, it is two minutes until dinner time, so I'd better head out. I can't thank you all enough for hanging with me for another live stream. It means a ton. I had a blast working on this one with you guys. It was fun. So I raid my bed too. See you on Thursday, Allie. Much love to you. So yes, I had a great time. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. This is probably the last live stream that I will work on um, Morticia because, you know, aside from maybe a few little touch-ups here and there, she is done. Yay! Colored in two live streams. Super happy. Um, I'll be in touch with you guys tomorrow um, via my email list. Thank you all again for supporting the Divinica shop. Uh, intertwined launch. You guys are awesome. Your books are being made now. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you on Thursday. Big hugs and kisses.